Sometimes disaster at the poker table is inevitable. Come on. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Snap. I'm so as good sick. As that I'm looks. so sick right now. That is a cooler. Oh my god. Potentially some fireworks in the making here between birthday boy Johnny Vibes oh, yeah. and Berkey. Heads up hot, Vibes. Oh, oh. Nut flush versus set of jacks. No oh this my is, goodness. This is not fair on his birthday. But sometimes is it possible to actually escape disaster? And what a great fold by Vibes. And what a hand there. And look at this, Johnny Moreno with a great fold. Johnny Vibes showing why he is a tremendous player, laying down a flush over flush situation on the flop against Brad Owen. I can dodge bullets, baby. Sometimes your opponent will give off an obvious live tell. Oh my God, what a fold. Oh my God, what a fold by Johnny. like it either. But sometimes you're up against a guy that gives away nothing and yet it's still possible to avoid disaster. Is this guy a soul reader? I didn't even think about it. How is it possible to get away from these cooler situations? Well, in today's video, I'm giving you the secrets that can help you avoid disaster in the future. What's up, my name is Johnny Vibes and I have been making videos for the past five years about my life as a professional poker player, which I have been for the past 15 years. In exchange for these, let's call them bullet dodging secrets, all I ask you to do is drop a like on this video. Or if you really wanna say thank you, you can pick up some of my gambling inspired merch. I make all the designs myself and they are actually silk screen printed, none of this print on demand garbage, the highest quality merch that you can find on YouTube. Just a warning, they do fit a bit oversized, so I recommend sizing down if you don't like that baggy fit quite as much. To help you learn the necessary tools on how to dodge bullets, I'm gonna walk you through a hand from start to finish so that you can see exactly how the mind of a professional poker player works. I'll blur out our opponent's cards so that you aren't biased or influenced. Not knowing our opponent's whole cards will help us think how an actual poker player would think in game. And the short answer is, we think in terms of ranges. Let me say this again because it is very important. We should always be thinking about our opponent's hand in terms of ranges. I'll explain exactly what this means, don't worry. But at a high level, the less we know about a person's hand, the wider their range. And the more that we know about a player's hand, the more narrow their range or the more condensed their range becomes. Let's walk through a hand so we can see exactly how this works. In this hand here, an older gentleman that goes by the name of Wolfgang limps in from early position. He didn't fold and he didn't raise, which means it's likely that he has a hand somewhere in the middling area of this range chart. If he had a hand that was very weak, he would have just thrown his hand away, folded it from early position, which eliminates a lot of the bottom area of this range chart. It is possible that he could be limping in with some traps, hands like aces or kings, so I'm not gonna eliminate the upper part of his range quite yet. I look down at a queen jack offsuit from later position and I decide to raise seven times the big blind. It folds over to Wolfgang and he decides to just call this raise, which means I now have more information about the strength of his hand. I can start to funnel down his range even more. I'll eliminate some of the unsuited hands and some of the traps. So we're off to the flop, which comes jack high. Great flop for our hand. Top pair, good kicker. We also hold a key card, the jack of hearts, which means it would be impossible for Wolfgang to hold a pair and a flush draw. Wolfgang checks and with the action on us, I decide to put out around a half pot bet. Wolfgang decides to call, which now gives us even more information about his range. I can start to remove small pairs like deuces and threes, fives, sixes, sevens, hands like king 10, ace 10, those hands would probably just fold here. But to be honest, he still has a lot of his range still intact. Let's see if the turn can narrow down his range even more. Turn comes the deuce of spades and Wolfgang checks again. I decide it's time to get some real value here. Settle on $1,600, which is nearly full pot. Wolfgang's response to this bet is really going to help me narrow down his range. He thinks about it for a bit and decides to raise me. Check raise, not something I was expecting, but this inflection point is huge for narrowing down his range. We can now toss away hands like nines and tens from this player type. 
We can eliminate any suited hands that aren't hearts. Perhaps we can keep in pocket queens as the only single pair hand that would take this line. So that leaves us with queens, jack eight, pocket eights, pocket fours, a very one unlikely combo of pocket jacks, nut flush draws, combo draws like queen ten of hearts, nine ten of hearts. Remember, I have the jack of hearts, so that particular heart draw is impossible. Really tough spot here for Johnny Vibes. He's thinking about pocket eights. Does Wolfgang have pocket eights? Or is he playing his draw fast on the turn, like a lot of people do these days? So basically he has nutted hands or he has a big draw. And when you count up all the value versus all of the semi-bluffing hands, there's just not that many value hands in relation to those draws. So I think it's best to call here and see a river. The river comes a jack giving us trips. This is a great card in terms of the absolute value of our hand, but is it really that great when we reference back to our opponent's range? Wolfgang checks and the action is on us and let's talk this range out again. Pocket jacks is now impossible. The value hands that I just mentioned, jack eight, pocket eights, pocket fours, those still beat us and we beat all of the missed straight draws and missed flush draws. We funneled his range down so far by the river. We know he either has a full house or a hand that is extremely weak. A hand like ace deuce of hearts or nine ten of hearts. So when you break up his range like this, what's the point of actually betting here? He pretty much never has a hand that can call our bet or he's just trapping us. Those seem to be the only two options. Johnny could actually check this back. Can't really get called by many hands. It would look weak, but it would be pretty good, in my opinion. Either Wolfgang missed, or he has you beat. Those are the two options. Unless he somehow slow played an over pair. That's the only hand you could potentially get value from. Is he unhealthy or something? Yeah, I just, I don't think you can call, so I just check. All right, check you you got nothing, right? Go check. Oh, oh good check. Wow. He had everything. Johnny basically said the same thing I did. Wow. It's going to look weak if I check trips here, but what can you pay me with? Go check. You either had a big draw, or I was dead on the turn. Johnny threw, thought through that hand very well. No, yep. I mean, I don't think he has like an in between hand after check raising the turn. Wolfgang is very tricky. He was hoping Johnny Vibes was the one with the missed draw. When you hold jack eight and the jack comes on the river, you don't think your opponent also has a jack. You think maybe Johnny Vibes had a big draw. So as you can see, a bullet was dodged in a spot where many people would have blindly bet the river. Sometimes players get so blinded by the absolute value of their hand that they forget about their opponent's range. Here's the real bullet dodger in poker. And if you think back all the way to his range with his preflop limp, then his preflop call, then his flop call, then his turn check raise. At each decision point, we were able to condense his range even more. And thinking in terms of ranges is gonna be the fastest way to level up your game. And software like Range Converter really helps with this. This example from my video last week is a perfect example of how to use Range Converter. Andrew opens it up here from early position. This is his range for doing that. I three bet next to act. I was a little bit out of range here three betting. Doug now four bets. The five bet comes from the big blind. And this is now Andrew's range for continuing according to range converter. I'll drop a discount code in the comments. In terms of poker training sites that help you think like this, I'd recommend Matt Berkey stuff. Their content is just more entertaining, which makes it easier to follow and digest. I'll also drop a discount code for the salt for y TV training content below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking like. Thanks for copying that vibes merch. And I'll see you next week.